So I've been in technology sales for over 15 years. Everybody goes to sales training and hears all about, you know, you've got to listen to your customer. Uh, but I think fundamentally there's, there's a piece missing. Right. You can listen all day long um, to what they do, how they do it, those kinds of things. But it, it's really not about listening. It's really about understanding. In most cases, when you're trying to sell something to someone, uh, it's really important to understand. But they're not going to buy anything if, the, if I don't actually understand what they're trying to solve. So when I started using the blueprint, I um, was very cognizant that I needed to be trying to measure whether the customer is really understanding and whether I was understanding the customer. Really reading people's emotional um, responses and reacting and, and guiding the conversation based on those. So for instance, my technical team will start talking about technical things and uh, it's very interesting to me, but you can tell from the look on the client's face that they're not interested. Um, the blueprint gave me, made me interrupt the conversation and try to bring it back to what that person who was looking perplexed or uncomfortable really wanted to talk about. This is where the blueprint to me was was pretty eye-opening. You know, then the next step, of course, is actually being able to move move the needle on that problem. You know, either either make it less of a problem or eliminate it completely. And uh, what I noticed was once I started thinking very deliberately like that, um, yes, I was opening and closing opportunities faster, but my close rate was much higher, and I was making more money. So before the blueprint, did you ever walk out of a meeting thinking they weren't listening? Oh, all the time, all the time. Okay. In fact, I've walked out. I've walked out of plenty of meetings where people, you know, others on my team would say they weren't listening. They didn't get us. Okay. And, and, so, and, yeah. and, and almost as a as a as a as a defense or a criticism of the customer. And, and right, it's their fault we didn't. Right. You. Well, and it's their fault they don't understand us. They just don't get it. Right. They wouldn't well, listen. Maybe we don't get them. So, and, and that's the real key. Again, that's the difference to me between listening and understanding.